two by four. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a wood? Is that one of them? Uh, I would assume it means two foot by four foot, but that doesn't seem right. Uh, <laughs> I believe it's two inch by four inch. Two inch by four inch? That's tiny! It's not the length, it's the like size of the... So like if you look at it, like if you look at it, yeah. like the very end, so this bit here, yeah. That's clearly not two no. inches by four inches. No, it can't be. If the thickness is going to be the same all the way through. Is there some kind of like... Ah, oh, okay. I realized why it was being funny now. Why? Um, so you're not supposed... When, you, when it says escape to drop, it means you're not highlighting anything you can use the beams for. But... Okay. If you get close enough to something, eventually you can click the mouse button and use it. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Uh, I can't remember how many more beams I need. Oh, dear. Oh, two for the ladder. What do the thingies on the top mean? What thingies the on the top? The icons with one, two, three, four, five. What does that mean? Uh, it's what mouse button you have to push. Oh, mouse button. I'm um, not mouse button, sorry. What <laughs> keyboard? <laughs> I mean, my mouse does have five buttons. All right, good for you. Good for you. We all have five buttons on our mouse. You don't. I don't have a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's like one, two, three, four on the number pad above my was B. The instructor. First, take, get your hand. <laughs> <laughs> first, put your gloves on. Yeah. Safe, safety first. Put the ground. And then the rest of them. I mean, it is kind the of the order that you do things. Oh no, use on. the hammer. So, what's the first one? Hands. First one is hands. Why don't they draw a picture of hands? I and mean, they are hands, but they're like workman's gloves. They don't look like workman's gloves, they look like knitting. Work person's glove. I'm sure there was hearts on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like... There's little, like, little, little s scalloping around the edges. Well, that's that's probably the stitching. Yeah, well, it looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can customise your gloves in a full game. Maybe. I hope so. You better be able to. Me out. <laughs> You'd be bunking alone. <laughs> Why do you think they're called bunkers? Uh, I don't know. Bunking, bunk beds, bombs, I don't know. <laughs> bunkers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. This is just, I'm get, getting these ready yeah. for when I put the last wall in. How are you supposed to get out? Can you go up the ladder? Um, I don't know. <laughs> get your wood. Can I cut multiple pieces at the same time? You wish. <laughs> In your dreams, you need some kind of super saw for that. Why don't we just buy planks of wood that are the right size? Why do we have to cut them? Uh, cheaper. I can't. Surely not. Surely not. Well, see, this is. You would think. It's a two by four. <laughs> Is that a wood? Is that one of them? Uh, I would assume it means two foot by four foot, but that doesn't seem right. Uh, <laughs> I believe it's two inch by four inch. Two inch by four inch? That's tiny! It's not the length, it's the like size of the... 
So like if you That's look at it, what? like if you look at it, yeah. like the very end, so this bit here. Yeah. Well, it's got, it can't. <laughs> That's clearly not two no. inches by four inches. No, it can't be. It's, the thickness has got to be the same all the way through. But it's a three-dimensional object, so it's going to be two by four by, so like two inches by four inches by two foot or something. Do you mean the... Look, I don't know. The width of the, width of the, the, width of the, width of the, the plank, so the, the edge is two by four inches, so it's four inches. I, yeah, but then every plank of wood is just going to be four inches wide, isn't it? Two. <laughs> What's a two by four? Yeah, just Google it. I just don't Google know. It. I don't know. I've heard it many times. I don't know what it means. Is this all? I don't think we needed that many planks. It's just going to give me eight. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this not a cut plank? Oh no, it's not. Wrong plank. Whoa! What is a two by four? Not eight. <laughs> not an eight. I don't think these are two by fours. No, I never said they were. No, but I'm just saying. But apparently. My um, theory can still hold up. Apparently, it's the most common type of lumber used in the world, for, used for framing houses. Mm hmm. And in part of just about every other type of project. So. Did you see what happened to that piece of wood? No, because I'm talking about two by fours. Right. If we're being realistic, if it was going to be any kind of wood we're using here, it's most likely to be two by four. Yeah, but these aren't two by four. You don't know what a two by four is. You just Googled it and you still don't know what a nah, two I'm by four is. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> the thing about two by fours is that they aren't really two inches by four inches. Right, thick. here we go. That's what, it says. what are they then? The end result usually takes half an inch off each side. I'm guessing, so yeah, I think it's the thickness. So I think you're, I think we are onto something. <laughs> I think, yeah, the smallest side, so the very edge, is two inches by four inches. And that represents the thickness of the plank of wood. Yes. By how wide each, so all, all the same planks of wood are about four inches. But at the same time, they're not actually two by four, they're 1.5 by 3.5. Mm -hmm. But they just simplify it and call it two by four. So they could be any length, but they're all two inches thick. Mm -hmm. Four inches wide. But realistically, it would probably be cheaper if we're going on that route to say to buy the longest piece of wood possible. Well, this is what I was thinking about is like the bigger a piece of wood is, the more expensive it is because you're getting more wood. But surely up to a point where eventually you're like just getting a whole tree. And it's cheaper because then you're just like going straight to the tree man. Person who grows all the trees. <laughs> okay. A wholesale person. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So if you bought it, let's say if you bought it from like B&Q mm -hmm. or wherever, you could buy a bunch of little pieces of the size that you want but it would be cheaper if you bought the big piece and got them to cut it in store mm. but it depends because I looked this up when I was looking at that corrugated stuff 
So they'll do um, the first however many cuts are free and then after that many they start charging you for cutting the wood. So it depends on okay. how, much, how many cuts you need. So it probably works out cheaper to buy a big, bigger piece of wood, especially if you can cut them yourself. I just, it's not logical, any of this. <laughs> Capitalism is not logical. Mm. I think it would probably take longer for us to cut off a tree ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I think, probably. But it's not about... When, yeah, now we're getting into the economics of how much time do we waste doing everything ourselves mm -hmm. when we could just pay someone else to do it who's much more efficient at it. Yeah. Time is money. Well, I just don't think we need to go to the tree, man. <laughs> Usually if you buy these kind of things in bulk, you get a discount, don't you? You go to that side of B&Q for trades. Yeah, you get a discount from the trade. Yeah. Have you seen that one? What one? There's what, that one being q near us that has a separate door for the trade. No. My dad always goes in that side and I always get it. <laughs> Does it take you to a different part of being q Um... It's just this VIP entrance. Can, I think you can still go in. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Because we've gone in that way and then just to buy like cleaning supplies. But he, he just likes to go in that entrance. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't realise there's another entrance. But I think on that side there is a desk where you can like make, discuss with people what you need. So I uh, think that's the only difference. You don't need a special card to get it. <laughs> Oh, you need the wood to create a little place for the cement to go. Oh. <laughs> because they're vertical, you can't just lay it flat like the um, the base. You cover the walls right. and then it becomes concrete. Said what? Inside the wood. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no, you put, you get the steel beams. Yeah. You put the concrete on the outside of the wood. Though. Uh, I think in real life it would be we we're pouring it. Yeah. Like down the top. Mm -hmm. That would be an awful lot of cement. <laughs> I'm gonna take a lot of cement. Why they're so secure. Uh, I don't know if we can get inside. Inside what? The bunker. You can see it there. You're just gonna have to build the last wall last, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> that feels like not the way you're supposed to it build a bunker. Strange. Yeah. I feel like they should probably lay the, the pipes for the toilet before they put the cement. <laughs> uh, so build will build a ladder. Got a ladder. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was scary. Yeah, you can get in and out. <laughs> what, are you gonna be able to see in there? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Place this beam. Am I supposed to do something else first? Place the bed in the toilet. <laughs> what have been saying? Mm. Uh, wood. Should we bury it or should we just leave it unburied? 
I mean, if they're going to accept it unburied, we, we leave it unburied, don't we? Screwdriver need. Oh, okay. Uh, where are the screws? Inside? They just keep showing me this. <laughs> yeah. Now, every time you want to put stuff in there, you have to go through the thing. I suppose you don't actually need to do that. <laughs> I think this is bug. Oh! Hidden. Ah. <laughs> Maybe it's just broken. <laughs> Both. There we go. Did it. Uh, now where's that plank of wood? I. What do you mean unload cement? Of wood down here. It's disappeared into the floor again. I like the music. This feels like the kind of music. Did your dad ever watch Bob Vila? He's a DIY guy. I guess your dad doesn't need to watch DIY forever. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, Vila, I think his name was. He was some American guy who would uh, teach you how to do woodwork. My dad did not watch American. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blank. Okay, this is the last blank. Please. <laughs> This game, it's interesting, I kind of wish it did, it was more like the tutorial though. I get that they want it, like, they want it to be realistic, but just kind of like, alright, I get it. I like the bit in the trailer where you were just stocking up the snacks bit, <laughs> stocking up the water and the apples or whatever. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm a homemaker, not a homemaker. I'm not a homemaker. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was just making a joke. I was making a joke. It was a joke about making snacks for people and being a homemaker, but also building a house. Uh. Fine, you don't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. Right, it's done. It's done. But this is their bunker. Right, get in there and put that toilet in. Now. Uh, bed. Bed, uh, and then you have to build the bed. And, probably. And you have to build the bed. <laughs> oh, you want it in the, in the corner like this? 
well in the corner in the corner corner like diagonal in the corner huh yeah you're gonna be pressing your legs up against the cold uh okay okay this is weird to me <laughs> This is how you inst how you install toilet. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that the screwing noise sounds like it's screwing into wood. This might be screwing into wood. We did it. Oh, look. Ah, oh, you press the R button to reset your position, so if you get trapped, oh. that's how you do it. Oh. All right. All right, bye now. We finished. Hooray! That's the end of the demo. Did it say we were finished? Yeah. Oh. We did oh, all... Oh, it was a demo? Yeah, not a real game. Oh, okay. This isn't out yet. Oh. <laughs> well, we're just going to have to buy it when it comes out, aren't we? Okay. Would you play this game? If the snacks were there, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to play Power Wash Simulator. Really? I think that's my favourite. I know it was all annoying as hell. Let's try and get the co-op set up. But I liked seeing the dirty go away. <laughs> Let's see if we can get co-op on the go and then we'll play together. I would like this once you can start decorating the inside and putting all the snacks in. Yeah. You can do all the hard stuff and then I'll do all the easy See, stuff. if this had co-op, but I could do the outsides and yeah. you could do the insides yeah. simultaneously. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Yeah, that's what we need to do. But that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> then that's the forever game. What? <laughs> you never heard of that? No one. People are in search of the forever game. The it's game that... Game. The game that you can just play forever and it never gets boring. Um, like The Sims. The Sims is a lot of people's forever game. It's boring to me after this initial setup. Yeah. Well, that's not your forever that's game. My forever game. Like, League of Legends. What? League of Legends. I've never played that in my life. <laughs> How dare you say something like that to me? Mm. Mm. Do you know what game? <laughs> I really like. Space Invaders game that was made for the Game Boy Advance. I could play that forever. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. I've never played that. You could play it, I'll give it to you. Alright, thanks. Okay. Alright, we've got to go now. We've got to go play Space Invaders for the GBA. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe as well as that bell button so you can find out when the next episode comes out. And we'll see you in a bit.